Hello crafters, this is Kim again, and yeah, I'm coming up with some major projects this year, apparently. Um, the second project is fabric earrings. Now, I got the idea from my Aunt Mary, she had bought a pair off of someone, but theirs was a little different. Theirs on the front was one color and dot and design, and on the back was a different one. And then they just, like, quilted it with a little bit of a fiber fill, I guess. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> and I suggest if you can find like the fiber as like a sheet it would be much easier and then they just ha used like fabric paint on the sides if I can get the picture loaded to the the post I will do so but here is one that is finished at least as far as everything but the the earring part and it just looks like a tiny little pillow for like a mouse or something. And this you can tell, I hope, that it's filled. And what I did was, I sewed it around, I hand sewed it around this way after you embroider it, which is my own little thing on this, my own little part of this, and sew it. And hand sewing it, you can get it, you know, the stitches in the places that you want, especially if you want to kind of hide them amongst the rest and make smaller. I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can see that. I don't think it's going to let me focus on it, but right there is a really tiny stitch that you can't really see. And even with the eye, I can't see that I did it either. So, even down here, there's some tiny stitches. So I rather hand sew stuff than use the machine, because every time I use the machine, it doesn't go well. I need a... I need a, um... a full-length body... um patchwork pillowcase and the stupid thing the parts that I used <coughs> ended up coming apart that I used with the machine now this is some of the polyfill you may need a little more than what I have on my finger here sometimes rolling it around in your hand or on the table or something helps and then you just take this apart And try and get it in so that it fills all parts well. And then we take our needle and thread and we just sew the rest of it up. And this is really hard to do on camera, so I'm not going to stay here and do it. But in order to get the fabric to go together, as it is here, you need heat bond. If this is the ultra hold for like heavy duty stuff like denim, things like that. Um, great for patches, fabric denim, leather suede and appliques. Um, it's permanent. No seam required machine washable and as I said this is the ultra hold one there's also a lighter hold and another var variation this is just like the cheaper pack um, 17 inches by 1 yard I hope, oh there we go I hope you like that and then you need this the polyfill stuff but as I said I was trying to find the sheets of it and I couldn't find them, so um, it's probably best if you try those, it would be easier, but if not, so be it. I mean, you could always make like small or little stuff 
as well with the pillow one. Um, of course you need thread. Now, like I said, if you're going to do the embroidery like I, I'm doing on mine, you need nice bright colors, or if you have like dark fabric, use lighter colors, or light colors, use a darker thread. This way, because, so, this way to pop, you know, like, on um, purple, you might want to use, like, the bright green, orange, um, especially if it's something like Halloween, you know, if you want to do, like, a little Halloween pattern, like a, a pumpkin on it, um, Red usually looks cool, a bit gothy with purple as well. So, you know, things like that. Um, mismatch stuff. Just see how the thread look. you know, see how the thread looks against it. And if it'll pop against it, that's how you do it. I hope you like this little how-to tutorial type video. And just give me a thumbs up if you do. Thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoy. I will be having another project sooner or later. I just got to figure out how to do it. Okay, have a good